Hey guys, welcome to another Anime Kingdom discussion and review. This one will be on Akame Ga Kill episode 7. So, like, seriously, last episode, that was the Fields train. It was crazy. <laughs> but yeah, let's get on to this episode. It starts off with the capital, you know, um, it's with the Emperor and the Minister talking to General S. Death because, you know, S. Death just got back from defeating the North. So they were congratulating her. Telling her they're going to give her gold, of course. And, of course, you know, about her going to attack Night Raid. And, you know, the Emperor is asking, like, oh, besides gold, you know, is there anything else you want? To which they are very surprised because she says, you know, she answers she was thinking to fall in love. And you wouldn't think of that from, a, you know, a killer like her, you know. But then again, come on, everyone loves, everyone wants to find, you know, their one true love, evil or not, I guess. <laughs> Um, and that was pretty much that part. After that, we're back at, you know, Night Raid's base, and mine is trying to eat her food, but of course with her injuries, she can't, she's having a hard time. So Akame, you know, even though mine reluctantly, you know, she says, okay, fine, and Akame feeds her, and that is when Tatsumi notices, you know, how c calm Akame is, even though they just lost, you know, one of their friends, and... That's also when he starts to truly realize how, you know, painful this line of work is. And come on, you're a group of assassins. You, they did tell him before that they, any of them could die at any moment. But, you know, you don't really think about that at first, you know. After that, we're with the minister and s Death are talking about, you know, how she wants to find love. And how he, you could tell the minister is like, I can't believe, you know. Um, and... You know, then he tells her her plan to get to get Night Raid. So after that, as Death calls three of her subordinates to carry off a mission. Then back at Night Raid's base, Tatsumi's walking to the kitchen because he can't sleep and he's thirsty. And then he runs into Akami. And Akami's got a plate, you know, of, of dongos. And it turns, it's not for her. Tatsumi at first thought it was a midnight snack, but... It's actually like to remember Shile because that was one of her favorites, and that's when Tatsumi says, you know, he's ama that she's amazing, that she's so composed, even though they just lost one of her their friends, and she drops the plate and she starts crying and tearing up and break down, and you know, she says she does care, but in her line of, in their line of work, work, you know, for the next mission she has to stay composed, she has to flip that switch, you know, those gears, switch gears, and even though, you know all that she still is really sad and as when Tatsumi realizes you know his mistake he messed up and he ends up punching himself in the face and it's like what the heck and he said he did it to switch gears and then he promises he's gonna become stronger and he won't you know he promises Akami that he won't die and you know make her sad after that it's the next day and he's training with Akami and you can tell he's really all fired up like yo 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 even though she hits him and hurts him, she's like, you know, we should take a break. And he's like, no, you know, he, he, you know, he promised that, you know, he won't die. And he wants to get stronger for her. And like to tell, he tells her to come at her as if this was a real situation, you know, and he rushes at her and all of, out of nowhere, he runs into Blato's fist and Blato like if he, if you were treating this as a real you know if, if it was real shouldn't you be mindful of your surroundings and Blato also notices you know Tatsumi is more fired up than usual which Tatsumi explains about his promise to Akami and stuff and they also you know he, he gets Blato like yeah okay and then they start training he says he'll help train him you know and he starts they start fighting after that we are shown this politician and you know he's pretty much against the current government he sees all the bad things that they're doing all the what's wrong with you know all the people that they need help and all of a sudden they're stopped along the road by who else but the the three of um Estet's, you know subordinates and they think it's just you know random bandits because they already took care of them before and that and the weird thing is too not weird i guess but his daughter is actually his bodyguard so she's like, you know, I could take them and brings a bunch of the guards and they attack. All of a sudden, like, they kill all of the guards immediately. And she's she's really hurt. And 
they end up killing the politician and the girl and what's messed up is one of the one of the subordinates actually like skinned her to alive till she died of shock i was just like wow that sucks i bet she you know like she wished she would have died in the first attack after that they start throwing flyers around with night raid on it it's pretty much i'm guessing to you know frame them and it turns out that's the minister's plan after that back at night raid the boss boss is telling them about s death being back after winning against the north and also the incident with s death subordinates killing you know the politician killing politicians and you know framing them and all of it's pretty much a trap to pull night raid in right you know pull them out towards them and also that you know to be able to beat these you know the guards of these politicians they have to be really strong so they're probably imperial arm users after that she assigns leone to go to the capital and observe you know um as death to which leone gets excited He's like you know if there's a chance she can take her out she's going to you know after that um boss she talks about there's two potential targets that they'll be going for and that you know they're going to split them up L Lubak and Akami are going to go after this one guy while Bulato and Tatsumi go after the other guy so after that Tatsumi is at the spot where he has to you know watch one of the politicians and it's this huge ship <laughs> and he sees the boat and says it's huge that's what she said I'm just kidding sorry jokes aside jokes aside but after that we're with Akami and Lubak and you know they're watching the person they need to protect and seeing that they're giving people um, rights to the people you know that are in need of it and it's really nice and good that there are still these kind of people and that's why they try to protect them because when you know the government when they do take down the current government they need these good people to help make a better government and that's when Akame gets hungry after seeing all the rice Akame hear her stomach growl and then Lubak like takes out a candy bar and like gives like here you know just be ready when you know I expect he expects her to help out when the enemy comes out you know he's counting on her to which she literally just like boom, puts her mouth over his whole hand he's like ah, what the hell <laughs> and after that Tatsumi it shows Tatsumi on board the ship and it turns out Bilato got used his armor remember we learned about before that it can go invisible and that's how they got both of them on board the ship. We then get a story about Pilato and his old general and how the general was um, being brought to the capital because he stopped taking the minister's bribes. And that was the only reason, you know, he had that position because he was bribed. And he's, you know, the minister, um, the Pilato looks up to the general and the general says, you know, it's fine. Um, he didn't do, he, he hasn't done anything really wrong, so they shouldn't do any, you know, there's nothing bad that's going to happen. But when he gets to his trial, no one listens. And, and then they also, you know, try and bring in Blato, to which that is when he uses his armor to escape and, you know, meet up with Night Raid later on. They then split up while Tatsumi is looking around. All of a sudden he hears, a, like, someone playing a flute. And... That was pretty much that part. <laughs> After that, we're with Leone and she's watching Ness death and she's in her um, her Imperial Arms form, like the it's like a you know lion thing. And she could sense the evil from her and she could tell it's a trap, and even though she wants to go in and attack her because she's alone, she knows it's a trap and she follows her instincts and retreats. To which S death, you know, she notices and she's like, you know, dang, you know, she wanted to try out one of her her new um, torturing things and then you could tell yeah it was a trap she knew all along good thing she never went in right after that um, it's with the subordinates of S death and they're playing the flute and that it seems to knock everyone who hears knock out everyone who hears it you know and Tatsumi is trying to like uh, resist it and he's walking out and that's when um, that one guy who's like I want to get um, you know, after he wants to kill people to get, you know, more experience to get stronger. And he finds him and says, you know, he throws him his sword and he pretty much challenges him. To which they start fighting. And Tatsumi's still affected by, you know, the 
the flute thing. So he barely dodges one of the attacks. To which it turns out his act, the guy's axe is an imperial arm. And it switches into like this double blade thing. Shing, shing, and he throws it at Tatsumi. And Tatsumi like dodges it, but it like it's like a boomerang. And it flies back and shing, cuts him. So Tatsumi decides, you know what? When he fl it flies back around, he starts running at the guy because he wants the the you know maybe I guess duck at the right moment and the blade hits him or something like that. And then as, as he's running at him, boom! Balato punches him again, flies in the air, saying, "Are you stupid? The opponent opponent was clearly ready for his attack, which it is true. He probably would have got fucked up, but sorry." <laughs> it is then we learn that Balato stabbed his leg. To not be affected by the flute, so it's kind of like Naruto Genjutsu, you know. <laughs> but yeah, um, and you know, after that he goes into his armor, and he, he you know he's about to fight and tells Tatsumi to watch his moves, you know, watch his every move. Bato is then about to get attacked from behind, like the rest of the subordinates come and attack, and all of a sudden, boom, boom punches one, boom kicks the other, and all of a sudden, boom, slashes the other guy straight in half, and it was pretty badass and Tatsumi was amazing like dang you're amazing and that's when Bellato says well you know back when he was in the army his nickname was 100 man slayer Bellato and that's when um one of the guys behind says to be accurate it was 128 people and they were special forces and that is when we learned that one of Esteth's um subordinates is actually Bellato's old general and that's the end of the episode. I give the episode a 7.5 out of 10. It was a good episode. Had good, had some good action. Blato kicking ass. Still had some of the feels moments coming in there. Everyone trying to move on and stuff. And then it's, you know, moving into the real fight fight. And I can't wait for the next episode. It's going to be pretty crazy to see, you know, how Blato is going to be affected by seeing his old general again. Because he really looked up to him. And I wonder what how that fight's going to be, you know. And... I wonder if after they finish this, is you know Tatsumi gonna get one of their imperial arms now? Maybe, maybe. But as I always say, discussion guys, if you want, comment below. If you have a question, comment below. You know, whatever you want to say, comment below, guys. And till next time, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this discussion review. See ya.